Nigeria is blessed with immense land and natural resources. However, this is one of the largest producers of waste. Yearly, this country generates more than 32 million tons of waste, much of which is biodegradable. But this is usually just thrown away, constituting a hazard, a health hazard, and creating unpleasant living conditions for the residents. One man is trying to do something about it, even if it's in a small way. In Nigeria, the national power grid is unreliable. Many people use kerosene to cook and petrol to run their generators. But the fuel isn't only expensive and dangerous, it's also harmful to the climate. Abiodun Jegede is trying to find a solution that's both good for the people and the environment. He's a PhD student at the Obafemi Awolowo University in southwestern Nigeria. His area of expertise is in biogas production from cow manure. The, the manual you know, decomposes and releases methane to the environment, which is uh, a greenhouse gas and is not good for the environment. But we are here to, to use the, the cow manual as, uh, as a source of, of feedstock for our biogas plant, where we, we, we use the manual to transform it to biogas. Like most biogas plants, the system consists of a fermenter and a gas storage tank. In the fermenter, bacteria use the manure to produce methane that can be used for cooking or running a generator. It's an environmentally friendly way to produce energy. This particular biogas plant was developed by a Chinese manufacturer. Right now the equipment is too large and too expensive for an average household in Nigeria. Therefore, Jegede is trying to customize it to suit Nigeria's needs. We are trying to make it um, locally affordable, affordable in Nigeria by even reducing the size of, of, of the reactor by up to up to 50 percent, you know, for what the norm what what they have, and also the the cost. Other types of uh, other type of uh, manufacturers that we have that are being used in one country, the cost of this will go for as much as 400,000 euros. That's the equivalent of almost 1,000 euros. But if a plant lasts up to 25 years, it will still save money overall. He says that if the government officially backed the technology, it would become much more affordable. With its large agricultural sector, Nigeria has a huge potential for making use of the technology. And one day, big plants could provide eco-friendly energy for whole communities.